Is it because it's so hot outside you just can't get enough of snowy places because you guys are blowing up the videos to do with the Arctic, the Arctic Circle, Antarctica. We're just here for it. So we are gonna give you more of what you love. Hey everyone, welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Rachel Fisher. Hey, how you doing? And today we are doing our list of top 10 Antarctica mysteries that will never be solved. I mean, never say never, but mm, we'll see. Let's get started. Number 10. Glass sponges. These mysterious creatures could give scientists the key to understanding some crucial components to climate change. At one time, this curious species of sponge was thought to be extinct. But then, in 1987, a Canadian team of scientists discovered a cluster that was over 9,000 years old. It was over 9,000! That's pretty insane. Yeah, that's also a fact. They can live for thousands of years. They feed off plankton and other small sources of food and can filter enough water in 60 seconds to fill in a Olympic size pool. They also don't look appetizing and mostly serve as homes to other kinds of fish and crustaceans and that stuff. Starfish tend to feed on them because they're really weird, but that's about it. The thing that makes them so interesting though is their ability to store carbon. Ever since the ice shelf started to disappear, they started appearing in Antarctica. They're called glass sponges because they're made of silica. If scientists are able to figure out the correlation between the two, then it might reveal some key factors about climate change. Can I say it never will be solved? Not quite, but it certainly does feel like a mystery worth solving. Number nine, the C-130. Another aircraft, another aircraft, gone without a trace. Chilean Air Force Flight C-130 left Patagonia, Chile and was bound for King George Island in Antarctica. They were meant to bring supplies and personnel to inspect a floating fuel supply line, but they never made it. They lost contact with the plane around 9.13 PM and no one heard anything about the plane having any issues. They conducted a search by air using aircrafts from the Chilean Air Force, Argentina, Brazil, UK, US and Uruguay, but nothing. There were no signs of the crash, that is, until debris was found floating 31 kilometers from its last known position. But to this day, no one knows exactly what happened during that fateful crash that stole their lives. Number 8. The Gambertsev Mountains Actual mountains of ice will have to melt until this mystery is completely solved. Until then, it's a pretty marvelous mountainous mystery. Stretching across 1200 kilometers and rising a third of the height of Mount Everest are the Gambertsev Mountains, except they are hidden underneath 2 to 4 kilometers of ice. They are named after Gregory A. Gambertsev, a Soviet geophysicist who made the discovery in 1958. From what they can tell through radar technology, the mountains are over a billion years old. They've been able to map the mountains by abnormal gravity fluctuations, but by all sides scientific reasons they should have eroded by now, but they haven't. One hypothesis is that the erosion process simply paused once the ice got thick enough, but still we won't really know the answer until we can fully look at those mountains. And it might take a billion years for that ice to melt, so who knows. Number 7. Shackleton's Lost Ship Ooh, Love a good lost ship story. Ironically, Captain Shackleton's ship was named the Endurance and was supposed to be ideal for navigating the icy waters of Antarctica. But alas, Sir Ernest Shackleton along with his faithful crew were forced to abandon ship in 1915. The Endurance became trapped by massive boulders of ice and then began to sink beneath the Weddell Sea. The crew escaped though, which is good, traveling 720 nautical miles before they were able to reach shore and be rescued. Researchers in the UK were captivated by its loss and desperately desired to retrieve it and they finally attempted it in 2019. They got a whole team together, but unfortunately the escapade was unsuccessful. The submarine they sent looking for it ended up trapped down there as well. They never saw it again and were not able to find the wreckage while they were at it. So whether or not the endurance continues to endure beneath the waves of that unforgiving portion of the sea, we will never know. Or if they try again, who knows. Number 6. Edgar Evans By all counts, Edgar Evans was a positive, cheerful member of Robert Falcon Scott's soon to be doomed exposition to the South Pole. So when Edgar started to act distant and his temperament started changing, his team knew something was wrong. Canadian Dr. R.C.F. Falk came to the conclusion that he died from accidental anthrax poisoning in 1986. Anthrax could have been trapped within the ice and Evans mental and physical health declined when he hit his head on the beard 
Richard Moore Glacier. The doctor on the crew believed it was due to damage to his skull. Then, as his symptoms changed, they thought it was scurvy, dehydration, or the high altitude causing the problems. But even before the Beardmore Glacier, his mood was changing, so it couldn't have been the fall or the ice. To this day, no one really knows how or why he died. He just didn't come back after lunch one day. And Scott recorded, I was the first to reach the poor man and was shocked by his appearance. He was on his knees with his clothes disarrayed, hands covered and frostbitten, and a wild look in his eyes." Unquote. He later died and the site of his grave has never been found, so without an autopsy, we may never find out. Number 5. Rodney Marks This is a case colder than any iceberg in the South Pole, and it will forever remain that way. Rodney Marks was an astrophysicist who worked at the South Pole at the Amundsen Scott Base in 2000. He suddenly fell really ill and passed away, so they put his body into storage until a coroner could review him. Turns out, the cause of death was methanol poisoning. Methanol was used as a cleaning solution at the base and somehow lethal amounts of it were found in his system. And accidental ingestion were overruled when syringe marks were found in his arm. The question of murder rose instead. Mark's colleagues quickly left when the spring came before a proper inquiry could be made, and New Zealand police were met with a wall of silence. With the same people living day in and day out, who knows how high tensions rose, but with tons of evidence thrown away and the findings never released, this is one case that will remain frozen in more ways than one. Number four, Xavier Mertz. For over a century, many believed the survival of Douglas Mawson during the 1912 South Pole expedition was an open and shut case. It was a miraculous case of human resilience. But historian David Dogg believes that Mawson's loyalty to his dying friend wasn't what it appeared to be. Their other accomplice died earlier on in the adventure when he fell into a crevice along with a sled and all their supplies. Mertz and Mawson only had a few things. They tried to make it back on rations, but Mertz died on January 27th. But Day thinks that Mawson cut the rations, therefore making Mertz perish first. Even with what they had, they had to eat the sled dogs, and Mawson recorded they killed the last dog on December 28th. But he still described cooking dog meat on January 10th, leading Day to believe that he may have eaten another corpse lying around. Yeah. Mertz's body has never been found and may never be, especially if nothing is left. Not even time will be able to reveal what really happened, so I guess. I'll stay with Mawson. Number three, the anomaly. Who knows what is trapped beneath the billion year old ice that coats Antarctica? Mountains, disease, forests, who knows? But there's one thing that scientists can't quite unravel. Beneath Wilkes Land in Antarctica, there's an object 151 miles across and 2,700 feet deep that could change what we know of human history. Scientists believe that it may be from space, perhaps the asteroid that caused the Permian Triassic extinction. It was first discovered in 2006 when NASA spotted gravitational changes in the area indicating an object of immense size. Is it an asteroid or is it something bigger? Something so huge that it may even answer the age old question of what else is out there? Some conspiracies revolve around a spaceship that may have crashed here billions of years ago. Whatever the case, we may not be around when the ice finally decides to reveal it. So that sucks for us I guess. <laughs> Number two, the ship Jenny. Fact or fiction, the existence of the ship Jenny may be lost to history and continue to be dismissed as a myth. But here is the story so you can decide for yourself. The tale goes that Jenny became trapped in an ice barrier at the Drake Passage in 1823. It was allegedly discovered in 1840 by a whaling ship poetically called Hope, and the captain made a disturbing discovery. The ship looked as though it was still being manned, with seven members of the crew standing to attention on the deck. But as they got closer, it was then they realized they were dead. The entire crew was preserved by the Antarctic cold. Even creepier was the logbook which featured this entry. Entry. May 4th, 1823. No food for 71 days. I am the only one left alive. Unquote. The captain who wrote this was found sitting, still as death, in the chair. The tale has been romanticized in a novel called The Ghost Ship by John Conroy Hutchinson, so perhaps that's why people think it's just a story. But I guess we'll never know, will we? Number one, Carl Robert Dish. Out of all the cases on this list, this one is definitely the most mysterious and will remain just that, a mystery. Carl worked for the National Bureau of Standards and was staying at Bird Station in 1965 just for the winter. Something he normally had to do was follow a hand line to the main station complex so he never got lost. But on May 8th, he went out on a trip he made over 25 times, only this time he didn't return. When he did not return to Bird Station, they went searching and did find a trail leading west. The weather was pretty bad and it was really dark, so the next day, they decided 
decided to head out with vehicles. They found tracks again heading south, but then they just disappeared. They noted that his steps seemed purposeful and that his stride didn't vary, like he was heading towards something. Searches continued for days and days, but no sign of dirt was ever found. And that was our list for today, folks. If you liked it, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and let us know what else you want to see on our channel. I've been your host, Rachel Fisher, and until next time, take care, guys. At one time, these curious, at one time, this curious species, oh, whoa. At one time, this curious species of sponge, whoa, that's hard to say. At one time, this curious species of sponge was thought to be extinct, but then, some in BC, what? At one time this at one time this curious species of sponge was thought to be extinct but then ah uh, what did i even write <laughs> Carl worked for the National Bureau of Sta <laughs> <laughs>